A Pacers AS720 is a dual interface SSD with a USB 3.1 Type-C connector rated at up to 540 megabyte per second read speeds. Check out the link in the video description to learn more. Welcome friends to Free Geek Vancouver. We got a couple of videos planned here, but for this first one, we're gonna be taking you guys on a tour of what it looks like, where they reduce, reuse, rebuild, recycle, and- Resell. Resell computers and electronics. And like, they have everything here. I got like 2.4 gigahertz, 802.11B wireless. I got a Sony Walkman AM FM TV. Is that a jam box? This thing was never any good. A whole bin of circuit boards. Woo! Because well, why not? So let's have a look around. First off, we have the data destruction station. So this thing, I don't actually know what this is called. Probably just a press. I don't know, it probably has a more technical name than that, but oh well. Basically, you just pull this thing down, it punctures through your hard drive like what Linus has on display. Here. Listen to this. That's what's left of the platters inside. <laughs> So this is monitor sorting land. You can see we've got, oh, it's a 19 inch VGA and DVI, but how do we know it works? So this is cool. They've actually got a KVM set up here and then they've just got a test machine here that allows them to run the monitors for, I think it is 30 minutes or something along those lines. And then they can determine, are they working? Are they not? And decide whether they end up in the store. Here we have small dismantle and circuit board preparation. Basically what they do here is take things apart that are small. So you have a lot of like motherboard back batteries, you have little motors for different things like hard drives, you have magnetic coils for different things, and all this kind of stuff gets prepared because you're looting certain valuable things off of it. And then circuit board preparation is for stuff that goes into here because these get recycled where they take out the gold and the platinum and all the valuable things off the board and make some money off of it to fund Free Geek. This is PC Dismantle Land. There's a few rules. No loose side panels ever anywhere. And I have definitely had this problem at our office, so uh, I totally get it. So this is the pile of all the computers that we've actually dismantled most of today. So you guys are gonna be able to check that out in our vlog. We've got Nikki V taken apart. Okay, not like that. We are not barbarians, Nikki V. Uh, so basically you sort everything into aluminum, steel, scrap, copper, CPUs, check that out, RAM, circuit boards, oh. motherboards, oh, no, these are the fin fins. Uh, my fins, oh thank you Dennis, good job Dennis, and optical and whatever this is drives, the Bernoulli 230. So this is component disassembly. You get stuff like routers, optical drives, speakers, whatever, and then take them to this table over here where you can see this one's even part way through assembly. This was our disassembly. This was a tape drive, which are actually pretty expensive, but it's broken, so it's getting taken apart. Take things out like the, like the magnets and whatnot, strip them down into raw materials where we have steel and plastic over there, and then we have circuit boards up here, which are taken for their copper, gold, or platinum or whatever, and then steel's just taken for raw steel. Here they're recycling by, uh, yeah, straight up recycling, I guess. In here we've got memory land, so this is where they sort and test all of the RAM from the disassembly station. So you can see they've got, this is, this is so cool, this like wall mounted memory testing system that they got here, DDR2 and DDR3. And then they sort it into all the different working capacities and speeds. This is actually more RAM than I have ever seen in one place anywhere in my life. They have some cool stuff in here. Like they've got all these FB dims. So this is older server memory. Um, I mean, check this out. They've got, I remember these. OCC Reaper edition, now with heat pipe cooling. Everything is so well organized and documented here. It is so cool. So there's like this awesome chart of like, here's all the different types of RAM pretty much, pretty much ever. The blank spot for DDR4. I suspect they don't get a lot of scrap DDR4. Uh. So this is hard drive. So RAM is right behind you. Linus just walked you guys through that one. This is hard drive. So they have these like custom made wooden hard drive holders, which are actually pretty sick. They use them at all their stations. And they kind of zombified their computers so they have SATA power and data coming out of the front so they can hook up as many drives as they want. This station is the wiping station. They run Derek's boot and nuke and just 
wipe the drive so much that someone wouldn't realistically be able to very easily get the data off of it. Then it goes to blank drive. So once it's done being wiped, it comes down here to blank. There isn't that many blank ones right now. There's just a 200 gig IDE. Then it goes up into in the installation station where they have the same kind of zombified computers with cables hanging out the front and they install Ubuntu right now. They're thinking about moving to Mint. I supported that move. Um, so maybe they'll actually do that. And then they install the same thing on all these drives so it's free open source software which they support a lot because things that are cheap are good for them um, and then these are prepped and ready to go to the system setup area we have what Taryn and John are currently working on, which is actually the final setup of, well, almost the final setup of one of the systems. You take note of what's in it, uh, if it's actually functioning properly, you do stuff like a stress test, you make sure that it's clean, you take note of how many slots are there for different things, write down your name, give the system a name, whatnot, and then that's basic QC, it has one more round of QC right after that before it goes up and into the store. What, 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 what? What, what, no, but seriously, welcome to the thrift shop. So this is where all of the refurbished stuff from out there ends up. So in here you can buy, well, pretty much anything that you saw out there except uh, piecemeal or whole systems. And I think they sell themselves a little bit short here. I mean, <clears throat> we have more types of RAM and CPUs available. Please ask for assistance. Uh, yeah, they do. We have definitely seen it. Not everyone wants to buy bare components though, and they've actually got a wide variety of different systems. Everything from like Core 2 Duos that are 50 bucks, or you can actually just work uh, a few hours here as a volunteer and you can take one of these puppies home, all the way up to more expensive stuff like this Mac Pro with uh, dual quad core Xeons, or this Intel Core i7, actually fairly capable gaming rig, all for pretty reasonable prices. So that is how Luke performed so well in the last Scrapyard Wars. There's some other very cool stuff in the store that's probably not for sale, like this uh, vintage uh, FedEx com water-cooled computer. I mean, that looks like, I think that's uh, not a TDX, it's an MDX or something like that from Danger Den, now defunct. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this, look at this stuff. It's unbelievable. It's like Depeche Mode in here. <laughs> This, is, this predates the AOL CD. They have other stuff up here as well that aren't just normal computers, including this, which is a up to 100 foot range, 256 bit AES encrypted wireless mechanical keyboard with cherry black switches on it, which is actually pretty sick. And it's just under a hundred bucks, which is badass. They have like shows and stuff so you can get The Office. They have the first four seasons of The Office. They have some games over behind me. There's individual component stuff like optical drives. Behind the desk, you can buy things like Mother boards and CPUs, you can pretty much get hooked up. But you might have noticed the laptops in the thrift store, we never showed where those came from. This is the Laptop Lab. This is actually one of the big money makers for Free Geek. Not to say that it's a for-profit society, I'm just saying that they have to keep the lights on and the bills paid somehow, and this department is a big part of it. So in here, they've got their, uh, well, this is all the, we know there's stuff wrong with this. This is the Issues laptops. Over here, these are the ones that are ready to build, so ready to replace batteries, uh, replace RAM, replace drives, or maybe just be uh, thrown out as e-waste, like this pretty BA-looking Panasonic uh, rugged computer here. This over here is testing stations where you can see they're using, you know, industry standard tools like Memtest, for example, to make sure that everything's going hunky-dory over here. And then once it's all done in this room, check this out, my friends. This over here is actually an incoming pile, but this over here is the stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks of finished laptop computers that are ready to go out to the store or to people who need them. Speaking of actually nothing, because I'm in a different place doing a different thing, Ting.com. Ting is the mobile carrier that actually has a phone. 
Which, if you think about it, kind of makes sense. I mean, if their entire business is providing people with phones, you'd think people would be able to take those phones, dial a number, and speak to an actual person. Yes, my friends, an actual person will pick up the phone and talk to you if you have any kind of issue. So let's say you don't have an issue. Let's say you're not on Ting yet, and you want to know if it will make any sense. Head over to linus.ting.com. We've got that linked in the video description. And try out their savings calculator. Ting charges you only for the airtime that you use. And the average Ting bill is only $24 a month. If you use their savings calculator, you enter your last few bills on your existing plan and you find out if you will save money on Ting. And even better than that, they will pay 25% up to $75 of your contract cancellation fee. And if you use our link, you'll get another 25 bucks off your bill or in-device credit. So head over to linus.ting.com and check it out today. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today. We're going to have a vlog coming up showing everyone working at all the stations here at Free Geek. And uh, for now, though, we're actually setting up to shoot the WAN show live here at Free Geek. Hopefully, we have all of our equipment and there are no technical difficulties. Yeah, right. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to count necessarily on that. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, hit that dislike button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe even consider supporting us. You can buy a cool shirt like this one. You can uh, get, so, oh yeah, you can join our, uh, that forum thing that we run where you can get answers about your technology questions and become a contributor there. Or you can even just use our affiliate code when you shop at Amazon, instructions for which are up there. So not yeah, that too. And now that you're done watching this video and you're wondering what to watch next, maybe check out, uh, I always struggle with this. What's a video we did recently? Uh, there was the update to the... I don't want to say the name of it. The update to the... Seven Gamers 1 CPU update. Yes, that's the one. Check that out up there.